There may come a time when you're giving a presentation when the audience, they want a copy of your presentation, so when you're giving it, they can take notes and reference like slide three. If they got something inspirational, they can go ahead and write it next to that slide. Well, we talked about this in an earlier training video, how we can go ahead and print out handouts by coming up here and clicking on the file tab, going down to print, and then changing it from, you know, the default full page slides and saying, well, there you go, your handouts, you know, three slides per page, and you got lines next to each slide that when you print it off, they can go ahead and write in those lines. Well, what if you want to be able to customize this, but you don't want it to show up in the presentation? Well, guess what? You can export this into Microsoft Word, something separate than the presentation, but it can be linked, so any updates you make in the presentation will update it in Word along with your customization within Word. Okay, does that sound cool? I, I'm sold. Let's go ahead and do it. So when you're backstage, to go ahead and export this to Word, just come down from print down to export and then say that you want to create handouts select that and it says create handouts in Microsoft Word and it says you can put slides and notes into a Word document edit and format content in Word automatically update slides in the handout when the presentation changes so you can link it any changes you make in PowerPoint will update in the Word handouts are you ready alrighty let's go ahead and click on create handouts and you get all these options the first option is notes next to the slide. Those are the speaker notes. So if you have any notes down below, as we talked about in an earlier training video that you want to include on your slides, there you go. And then you can go ahead and tweak those notes within the handout without affecting your presentation here. Isn't that awesome? So if there's something that's just for you that you don't want to be part of it, but the majority of it you do, and then go ahead and export it, select notes next to slide, and just you know delete some of that extra content that you don't want to include in their handouts here. Next is blank lines next to slides. Well, that's what we saw in the handouts, but here, like I said, when you export it to Word, you can customize it. Then you can have notes, again, speaker notes, below each slide. You can have blank lines below each slide, or you can just do an outline. Now, an outline only is, let me click Cancel, what you see up here on the View tab. In the Presentation Views, the Outline View, just this part over here, you just get the outline, okay? So if we go back to Normal View, in any case, let's go Backstage File down to export, create handouts, create handouts, and we're back. And then you get the option to either copy everything over to Word or create a link. So any changes you make here in the PowerPoint file, it'll update it over in Word. How about if we just do blank lines next to the slides? Okie dokie. Click okie dokie. Give it a second. Hey, there we go. Now, you can see that little tag in the upper left-hand corner. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Word, hey, watch my Word training videos. But that tag is the little tag that when you click on it, it selects the entire table. And that's the table tag. It selects all the cells within the table. And if you actually want to see the boundaries of each cell, so when it comes to editing within the document here, it's a good idea. Come up here and click on the Layout tab, and then go ahead in the Table group and click on View Grid Lines. And this is just for you. You don't have to turn them off because they won't print. It's just for you when it comes to, like, you know, typing in some more text here or maybe moving, clicking and dragging a slide down here so you know how far to go to get into the next cell. Let me go ahead and hit undo that so you can see where your boundaries are. This cell, that cell, and this entire cell with the lines. In fact, you can go ahead and type in some text here if you like or add some down below. So you can do it that way, or if you want to include speaker notes, let's go ahead and close out of here, and I won't save this. Let's go back to our PowerPoint file. Well, let me go back because if I go to slide two, there we go, website, handout, ghost keychains. So I do have some speaker notes. So if I click on file, go down to export, create handouts, create handouts, and wherever it says notes, I only get two options for speaker notes, the right side of the slides or below it. Let's do the right and click, well, let's link it so any changes we make in PowerPoint, we'll update it and click okie dokie. Give it a second as it freaks out and it tries to add everything all at once. There we go. Hey, looks the same, except now we have our speaker notes. So that way, after I export, I'm like, you know what? I really don't want to include, you know, handout ghost keychains because that's just for me during the presentation, a prompt to say, hey, at this slide, let's hand it out. So delete it. It's gone. I don't have to retype in anything else like these additional notes. So oh, I better fix my grammar here by deleting the extra space. Now, any changes we make in the PowerPoint file, 
will update here. It's like it says Dreamforce LLC. So if I go back here, and I go to slide one, and I call it, let me double click, just Dreamforce without the LLC, and I click Save, and I go back to my document. Hey, there's no LLC. Can you see that? I bet you can't. I mean, it's so teeny tiny. I mean, if I went back and deleted everything on it, you probably would notice that because you wouldn't see something that might appear blurry to you. In any case, let's go ahead and go back and click on the text box, delete it, and click on the text box, delete it, click Save. Now you really ought to notice the change. Let's go back to the document. There's nothing there. And then when you're done, you want to be sure that you save your work because right now it's got a generic name. So come up here and click Save. And we'll navigate to the desktop and call it my handouts with S notes, speaker notes, and then go ahead and click Save. And just a side note, if you're having struggles working with the table and the cells here, you can remove it, or to learn more about tables, you can watch my word training video on tables. I go to it in greater detail. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.